At my bookie, it's winning season, which means NFL football is back and it's time to take advantage of all of the action. Free bets, super contests, survivor streaks, and deposit matches, all for those who dare to put their money where their mouth is. If you sign up with my bookie right now, they will match your deposits dollar for dollar. Every cent up to $1,000 gets put right back into your account. Just make sure that you use my code Holly to claim the special bonus. Winning season is here and it's only at my bookie. So tell me a little bit about uh, your virgin clients because that's fascinating to me. How how does that go for the most part? And do you have any like specific stories that really stick out in your head? Mm, So I see virgins of all ages, everyone from 18 on up. I want to say I've had somebody come in that was like 62 years old and just never had an opportunity in his life to connect in that way and finally decided that he was emotionally ready for it. So I want to remove the myth that like virgins have to be a certain age. Like there is no right time. It's whenever you are ready. There's no stigma, no shame whenever you are ready. Um, Within that, though, I tend to get a lot of folks that want the right way to do things because through the media, through interactions with their friends, they've been presented with numerous horror stories and they really want to avoid those things, kind of the pitfalls and traps when it comes to dating and sex and having those experiences. And then, of course, there's the emotional vulnerability of, hey, I've never had sex before and I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I want to go to someone that isn't going to judge me for my lack of experience and is instead going to help and guide me through a quality experience. As far as stuff that sticks out in my head, I I can think of one. I do want to clarify, I always get consent from my guests before even anonymously sharing their experiences or sharing anything about them, I always make sure, do I have permission to share your experience anonymously? And I do have consent to talk about this one. It was a guest who was on the autism spectrum who had a lot of sensory processing issues. In particular, he struggled a lot with soft touch. Most of us find like this kind of motion where you're gently running your fingers across your arm or somebody is stroking your hair to be very pleasurable. And for him, sensory wise, it was very, very, very overwhelming. He was only very comfortable with deep, intense, like grabbing types of pressure. And so our first experience was very, very different from that of, say, another guests, where there was a good 30 minutes, hour or so that was just spent processing different sensations. So this way we would do something and then we would take some time. So this way he could process through that. And then we would try something else. And then we would talk about it. How did that feel? What did you like? What did you not like? This way, as he goes forward into new relationships, he's able to articulate, these are the things I enjoy. These are the things I don't enjoy. And then here are the things I'm able to compromise on where they're not my favorite, but if you enjoy it, we can make that happen. Wow. That's, that's an incredible, first of all, you must have so much patience, um, which I find very admirable. I don't have as much patience and, uh, you seem like somebody who's really loving and caring. And I can't imagine that an experience with you would be anything but wonderful. And, and I I can totally understand, you know, that, that situation with the male virgin, there's so much pressure on men to be these kind of sexual conquerors mm. and to be, um, you know, well-versed in the sexual landscape, even if they've never done it before. And I would imagine, because I definitely get these letters from some guys as well and comments from virgins who are older. And it's like the older that you are and you remain a virgin, the more shameful you feel about it. And then the more difficult it is to find a woman who would understand your position and who would, who would teach you and who would educate you and who would take you through a positive experience. And I think that, that, that you providing that service to people is a wonderful example of how sex work and companionship is a really um, gentle and just incredibly kind service that you're giving people. I know a lot of people think about, 
you know, what you do is as something being dirty and how can you sell your body for money? I mean, you know, obviously in working in the adult industry, I see these comments all the time. And I know that you're on you. I know you're on YouTube. So, and those were, those are the worst Ugh. people on YouTube are the worst. So you see these comments all the time too. So I know, you know what I'm talking about, but when you look at it in that way that you're really providing this intimate experience for somebody who's, who's never had the opportunity to be with a woman and, and who may never have that opportunity outside of, you know, a, a transaction like with yours. It's just like a really kind of beautiful thing if you think about it. At my bookie, it's winning season, which means NFL football is back and it's time to take advantage of all of the action. With my bookie, you can choose from thousands of bets on your favorite sports like MLB, NFL, and NBA, as well as odds on your favorite teams and players. If you sign up with my bookie right now, they will match your deposits dollar for dollar. Just make sure that you use my code Holly to claim the special bonus. Winning season is here and it's only at my bookie. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.